Hi. Today we are at Bead Sikha Wala, which is a sacred grove in Punjab. In this jungle survey, we are going to identify the native trees of Punjab of this area wherever we are making the forest and also we are going to understand about the different layers of the forest. The main purpose of doing this forest survey is to develop a list of all the native trees found in this area so that we can go to a nursery and procure the same species that we have identified during this survey. Also these types of survey help us to understand how the forest grows in different groups. Species have a likelihood to grow with each other. During these surveys we also identify guilds of different species where two or three species of trees continue to grow together repeatedly. So once we develop a pattern whenever we plant our forest we plant these species together and replicate the same guild that we would have identified during this survey. So let's have a look at the jungle and identify our trees to develop the list so that we can go and procure our seedlings. Thank you. To do a jungle survey, we need simple tools like a reference book. In this survey, we are using Jungle Trees of Central India by Pradeep Krishan. Also, we need somebody who can identify most of the trees growing in that jungle. We always go to these jungles with the jungle tree expert. Today, we are with Mr. Gaurav Gujar, who is jungle tree expert at A Forest. We are also going to be accompanied by some local people who can identify these trees. These are the people who have been living in these places for years. Also, there are some people who are botanists from this same geography. They can identify the trees using leaves, bark, fruits, flowers. So, using the reference book with tree experts, with botanists and the local people, together we are going to identify all the trees and make a list of them. So, in the first part of our jungle survey, let's look at this forest in Bir Sikhawala, Faridkot district. Predominantly, this one species, Salvadora oleodis. Salvadora oleodis is the prime species which we can see in this area again and again repeatedly. So we can easily call it our major species. So now we are moving towards a guild. Guild is a place which has few species growing together. And these guilds are repeated in nature again and again. So if we learn this combination of different species which grow in nature together, we can replicate these combinations whenever we are planting our own forest. Gaurav, do you want to say something about this one species which is getting into this guild? So this is basically a non-native species, Prosopis juliflora, which is a very invasive species and is not allowing any other species to grow. Uh, though they, the species that is forming guild of native species is very strong and very robust, but slowly this is creeping inside and not allowing all other ground covers and all other species to grow. If this non-native species is not removed, this might slowly kill all the native species, the last rem remnant species of this old forest. Let's move towards the guild. The first tree which we saw before as well is the same, Salvadora tree, also known as Miswak, Van and Pilu. Let's look at a few more trees growing in the combination with this tree. Part of how old would be this tree? Uh, I think this, considering the stem and the growth, this could be the root runner of the same species. So all the species, all the oleodis are, uh, which are growing here, they could be either connected or the uh, would be a seedling of uh, from the same plant. So this could be easily at least 50 to 60 years old because it's uh, it grows very very slow and there has to be some old tree which is not here because this is usually a climbing shrub which takes support and then okay. develops uh, itself. Okay. So this one tree is you are saying around 50 to 60 years old. Yes. And how many of these trees are we seeing in this area? Uh, I think in this particular guild I could uh, at least two 
Okay. So when we are doing our survey, we note down the name of species, we note down the count, how many of these trees are found in that one particular guild that we are uh, observing, and then how much area this particular tree is covering in the horizontal space. So let's look at this tree, Salvadora oleodes, and the count is two. Uh, another species that I could spot and which are like greater in number is the Karir. Care, we also call it care, which is Caparis decidua. Uh, it's a leafless plant which remains leafless almost throughout the year. It's thorny and exactly. again it grows very, very slow. You could see these, this is the plant and there are at least seven plants uh, around this guild that I could, I could easily count. When we are surveying a forest, we have to also identify the different layers that are very much visible in a natural forest. As Dr. Miyawaki says, a natural forest is so dense that you can't even walk into it. Now, this is the reason why you can't even walk into a natural forest, which is multi-layered. So at one particular layer, we are having the Salvadora pilu tree. Now this grows in the second layer or third layer. But at the ground level, at the bottom most layer or the shrub layer, we are having a tree known as the Karir tree and when you try to walk into it, you won't be able to because this tree is covering the bottom most layer. Later on, it can grow up to the sub tree layer also. So different layers should be considered separate from each other when we are surveying a natural forest and then we should identify what percentage of the area, total area, this tree covers on the ground. So we will note down the name of the species, number of times we are spotting the species in this area and how much area it is covering in the layer it is present. By doing this, we will be able to create databases of all the layers and when we will plant our forest by covering all the different layers, we'll be able to make a forest which is so dense that one can't even walk into it. So the third species we have identified here in this guild is Gangani. It's Gangani. It's also known as Falsa. It's a fruit bearing species which belongs to shrub layer or one layer after the shrub layer, subtree layer probably, right? Yes. Okay. The fourth species is Shatavari, Shatavari. which grows as a climber if I'm not wrong. Yes, right? yes, yes. So it grows as a climber and finally it reaches the higher layers. Mm, yes. So which species do you think it belongs to? I think it will be more in shrub category because it's growing from the bottom, climbing and then spreading its uh, entire canopy. Okay. okay. So, so far in this guild, we have found four different species. Can you name all the four species we have Yes, so the first one is the bigger tree, which is a major uh, and uh, which has the major coverage of this guild is Pilu, Salvadora oleodes. Second one is Care, which is both on the ground cover and also in the shrub category. Uh, we found eight of these uh, seedlings, eight, eight of these trees growing and which has 50% coverage. Mm -hmm. Third species is the Gangni or Grivia tenex, whose fruit, orange fruits that you are seeing here, that belongs to shrub category again. And uh, these are the highest in number, Along, around 11 uh, specimens are observed in this guild. And though it's a very tiny, it's not spread much, so it covers around 8% of the shrub layer in this category. Fourth one is the shrub. We have only observed three of them. And it is just a small uh, climber which takes, uh, which doesn't take much space on the ground, but it grows up and spreads uh, itself. So we are roughly putting around uh, four to five percent uh, shrub layer to that species. So fourth one is Shatavari, Shatavari. which belongs to the shrub, shrub layer. layer. It occupies what percentage of area? Five to six percent. Five to six percent. Yes. All right. So continuing our jungle survey, so far we have identified four different species of trees of three different layers. Let's go to another guild in which we have found one more new species. So right now we are at the guild number two which we are surveying. This is a large forest with many guilds. This is the second guild that we have come to and this is the fifth species. Name is Arni in local language that we have found. 
it's a very nice aromatic flowering species it never grows on its own it always grows in guild here we are seeing career tree on which this species is dependent so it grows as a climber first and then becomes huge like a tree so you can see two trees growing in this combination now many people ask us that if we plant our trees at such a high density 3 to 5 seedlings per square meter will they ever get a chance to grow because of their close proximity however you can see in nature how close they grow it's even denser than 3 or 5 trees per square meter so nature also makes trees grow very close to each other because that's when they are able to support each other and we have seen this combination and many more combinations like these where trees are supporting each other and growing to their fullest so this is a great new learning for us and fifth species in our survey gorav are we planting this species also yes. in the forest that yes, we are making yes yes so all almost all the four species that we have spotted these are uh, these are being planted in our forest yeah so all the species that we plant in our forest the selection of these species come from the learning that happens during these forest surveys ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਹ ਬੀੜ ਹੈ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਦੋਂ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਹੋ ਇਹ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਬਚਪਨ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਇਸ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੇ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਛੋਟਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਫੋਰੈਸਟ ਸਰਵੇ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਊਰਿੰਗ ਦਿਸ ਸਰਵੇ ਵੀ ਮੈਟ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਹੂ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦਿਸ ਏਰੀਆ ਸਿੰਸ ਹਿਸ ਚਾਈਲਡਹੂਡ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਟੈਲਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਦ ਪਲੇਸ ਸੋ देयर ਆਰ ਫਿਊ ਸਪੀਸੀਜ਼ ਆਫ ਟ੍ਰੀਜ਼ ਵਿਚ ਹੀ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਟਾਲੀ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟ੍ਰੀ used for making furniture and because of that this tree has gone almost extinct from this area and he told us about many wild animals that he used to see in this area as a child deer various types of snakes pythons porcupines uh, wild boars etc so if we wouldn't have started cutting down this forest or wouldn't have interfered in this uh, forest kept it natural the way it was probably we would have seen many more species of trees and in his opinion also the kind of priority we should give to our trees which are originally found then only we will be able to bring back the lost environment the environment which used to be at this particular place instead of planting any ornamental trees So in this forest we also found that there is no ground cover the grasses shrubs which would have acted as fringe and mantle community are totally destroyed during the survey baba ji told us that there used to be two three different types of grasses a lot of mushrooms in this jungle now that a lot of soil erosion has happened the grasses have completely gone sunlight directly reaches the forest floor and you can see that moisture in this forest is not as much as it would have been in a natural forest if it would have been covered with mulch or humus so as much as it is important to protect the trees of the forest we should also focus on bringing back the lost community of grasses and shrubs that grows around the forest because without these communities of shrubs and grasses we can never make a complete forest a forest is not just made up of trees but also the smaller plants and grasses which acts as a boundary to this forest and in scientific terms they are called fringe and mantle communities so we will make a forest of these trees we will also identify the grasses that are native to the place and plant them all around our forest we have just now finished our survey at beer sikhawala in faridkot and we have identified five different species of trees here in this small area we have seen number of guilds three types of guilds primarily combination of trees which occur again and again in nature trees that grow together in groups so gorav is going to tell you about the three different guilds that we have seen uh the mainly that we observed were the khejdi shatavri and jal they were like uh, multiple times found together and uh, another one was arni kher and gangeti all three were 
several times repeated in several locations uh, the major one was khejdi pilwan gangeti and jal so all these four species were always clubbed together and spread across a vast area in uh, specific clusters so we are going to plant many more trees that we will identify during the survey in nearby areas in nearby jungles out of the species combination that we have we are going to replicate the same guilds when we will be planting our forest at the site where we are going to make a forest of 1313 trees so we have identified at least two major species here we have identified four different layers of trees here we have identified three different types of guilds so we'll take this combination in our notes move to another location and add few more species to our list until we reach a number which covers almost all the species of trees that we have seen in evidence in documentation found in this area which tells us about the native vegetation of this particular geography hi thank you so much for staying with us and learning how to make the list of species In the next video we are going to go for a tour in a native forest nursery to procure the seedlings that we have selected for our project so stay with us and let's go to the nursery together